Yeah, puss cats. <laughs> All right. We're out in the road again. Shopping day. We'll do some shopping. Like I'm using the footpath again. Too many people. Heck, <laughs> you looking at the bike going, what? You ride and not pedal? Going on at that school. Have been for a while. 
Apparently all the schools got a big grant, so they're all doing big um, works on their on their schools, on their buildings. Come on, re-engage, engage. Thank you. I like the captain of the starship there for a minute. Engage! Captain Kirk, I think it was. No, did he say make it so? I think he said a combination of both. Broken bottle. Second red light. Don't hear any sirens, so it's cool. Come on, broken glass. Give it a coldness in the air, but it's not too bad. About air conditioning cold, that's about it. or anything, it's just a slight cold, cold, very slight, what is that? No, oh, there was a lit up sign there, someone smashed into it, and they went out and broke it, but fell apart. And speed up, you're not going anywhere. So I'm listening to my Spotify music as well. Um, just turned down a bit. Just cruising along. You get a 512 thing for the little camera. And hope that I can record to it. Um, and then I'm going to get food. $50 note. Um, That's about it, I think. That's cat. That's cat. Good morning! Together loving and everything was good until she had a girl. Once she had a girl everything went to crap and um, he split with her and it just got too much. You could say her having a girl broke the family up but I think it was really just coincidence. I don't think it was actual. I think even if she didn't have a girl, it still would have been the same. It's just funny that it all happened when she had a girl. It shows that sometimes the things you wish for, you don't get because you're better off without them. Which is a weird sort of thing to say but sometimes it's pretty true you know I mean I wish for things and I get them they're great go on for a bit and then you know forget they even exist I have my heart set on a different bike to this one but you could only have 250 I got this one, not the other one, because 250 with the other one 
wouldn't have been able to push me, you wouldn't, wouldn't be able to push me in the way of the bike, you know. It was like an actual motorbike. It wasn't like a push bike. I probably wouldn't be been allowed on the roads up here either, so. Apparently you can register them as a moped, so they're road registered and all good. pedal a little bit to keep this thing going because it's got a 250 motor and I need a 500 so or a 350 or something because 250 is not enough but anyway whatever it does the job It doesn't run like, it doesn't do like a car does, but like a motorbike in a way. It's like a motorbike in the way that um, you don't need to pedal. You can travel a fair distance. Um, you can't carry passengers or luggage or anything like that. been around since World War II. It's been around since just after World War II, but they were petrol motors, not um, electric. Electric motors came from people putting washing machine motors on the back of on, on bikes instead of um, electric instead of petrol motors. That's where it started and it's just grown and grown from there. the guys in like 250 they're thinking like um, motorcycles they're thinking like motorcycles 250 motorcycle that's not a motorcycle It's not 250 horsepower, it's like one fiftieth of a horsepower or something.
Anything you need, you got it. Anything at all, you got it. Maybe. Second time something's fallen off me and someone's helped me put it back. It's good. Well, what happened to the cold, cool world that I used to know? They'd be hanging off a cliff, they'd be walking on your hands. Bike just fell over. Yep. Of course. Freaking hell, I don't know. I like this bag and everything like that. Yeah. That's a bit crappy. Oh, get through there. No, don't fall over. Get up there. day and age of everyone stealing everything. Why would you do that? <coughs> You're bold and all sorts of shit for me. That's why you never park at front end. Stupid way to park. better, it doesn't fall over, it's harder to steal, and um, it really works. Mm-hmm. 
balls and everything in that bag. Why would you? It's just mental. I'm going to leave your bike unlocked. Well, she practically has because she's got a combo lock on. Which is crap. Combo lock is so easy to break. Don't even need to know the combination. A little kid showed me how to do that. You don't even need the combination. Very, very easy. The person is. They left all their stuff on the back just in a bag. to beat me around that corner. I don't know why it's stupid. I think of them on a push bike I'm really really slow. I'm not that slow. I am slow because I'm not a big fit person. I don't ride full blast all the time. Don't have the energy. But um, yeah I'm not that slow. try to beat me and I'm right up beside them when they're turning, you know? Just stupid. I'm lucky I'm only on a 250. If I was on an 800, oh, but then I'd be so far in front of them they wouldn't have a chance. So much faster. But and a high powered bike going at 25 k's an hour is a lot better than a low powered bike going at 25 k's an hour. Mainly because a high powered bike, 25 k's an hour, has got a lot of spare power. So it can go, it's got all that power to go uphill. I've got an 800 or a 1000 or even a 500 go uphill, no problem. You can go uphill, so I don't know what your weight is really, but you've got to push the weight. Looking at that motorbike, it's a bit funny. I don't know if it's Polaris or actual motorbike or what, but it wasn't making any sound, so I don't know. Maybe electric bike, electric motorbike. Because they have electric motorbikes now. Polaris and Serons are electric push bikes, but they have actual electric motorbikes. You know, Honda, Suzuki, all them. Registered as motorbikes, look like motorbikes. Well, they are actual motorbikes, but they're electric. Like electric cars, you know? The Tolaris, the only Tolaris I've seen here, it's got the same power as the 125. Um, see? Idiots. That's a 125 Honda. Same power as that. There's a Tesla. Oh, you try to run over me, you beggar. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's a push bike, motorized push bike, got the same power as a 125 trail bike motorbike you know so pretty good but 
some of the Sarons have got the same power as a 250 or a 300 motorbike, you know, because they've got 5k, 5 kilowatts. But yeah. The only thing I don't like is that there's no protection except for what you're wearing. If you're wearing the motorbike gloves and all the motorbike gear then you're pretty well protected but you can still break bones and, and all that sort of stuff. It's not like a car. The car you smash, you break, mostly break the car, you know. But you can replace the car. Well, hopefully. But, um, no, I've had this for years now and I don't regret it. It's good. It's a good thing, really. What well, you're seeing with me and the boys, you know, riding around, having a good time. really has to learn how to do videos better because his videos are always looking at the ground I guess that's why he doesn't want to share them with me because all you see is the ground but when he used my camera it was good, he had a good shot, it was a good spot it was working well he used his own camera he's got this idea in his head that the ideal spot to have the camera is looking at the ground, so that's not good. That's not the ideal spot at all. Oh, I need my glasses busted. Need to buy a new pair, but they can't because they're expensive. I wear that mirrored pair, maybe. I've got them at home somewhere. They're a bit flat, so they let the light in at the sides, but they're mirrored. Sort of, if you've got a thin head, you can see behind you. I can kind of see behind me, but it's difficult. You've got to hold your head on just the right angle to be able to see behind you. I'm so glad I got this basket on the front. It has helped so much. It's really made a difference. Ah! If I didn't have it on the front, I wouldn't have anywhere to put anything. I got my clothes in the dryer, so I'll just rip them out of the dryer, put them in the bag. Got to hunt down a few things and find them. Put them in the bag. Um, then everything will be set if we go tomorrow or Saturday or whatever day we go. I don't know what day we're going. Don't have a clue what day we're going.
Oh yeah. One day I'll have a car again. Which will be good. So I did a lot of my shopping yesterday, so I've still got stuff I need to get, but I'm not spending the money, so might have to have a uh, thing a week. I don't know. Might have to have a um, poverty week. I need to carry a lot more stuff than I can carry, so and I need to buy a lot more stuff than I've got money for, so yeah. something falls out it just keeps falling out. Why I don't know it just does that. Solar power with city electric um, backup. So they don't need to produce as much power in the, in the power station. And um, they don't use, you know, the sun provides all the power. We have a lot of sun. We have serious amounts of sun. Coal is getting less and less every day, so coal burning fire stations, are, well electric stations are um, disappearing, so we need all the non-coal producing electric that we can get, because they've got to be replaced with something, you know? Look at that roof there, that could be powering something all day. The damn shoe's gonna fall out. It's doing its damnedest to fall out. Luckily I'm able to just tuck it back in all the time. That shoe's good, they're great. You can stand in the water and then you don't get any water on in, in your foot really good. Problem is, they stink. You walk around and sweat them all day, they stink. Pong up the place. But, um, yeah. 